Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can you believe they told me that I would never make it? Now we smiling in their faces, smiling in their faces. So you're willing to risk someone's life for what? Thirty thousand dollars a year? There, That's there was no risk in my opinion. The, Thank you. You have a great night. Thank what you. is your name? Illicit violence against That's you? Right. You just elicited violence against two black men no, by calling they, the police they, on they them. We got to walk away when one of them had a warrant and could have been arrested and the cops still let him go. Just l listen to yourself. You work with black folks. You just remember that. Man, some liberals are so silly. They actually think that calling the police on somebody is an act of violence. It, it, we got into this point in society that me calling the police to protect you from doing unlawful things is an act of violence to somebody because they're black. It's not an act of violence. It really is. Now, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler Rose. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I drop a new video. And if you like my website, I'm sorry, my website. If you like my sweater, this is great. I got great quality sweaters. I got hoodies. Um, I got t-shirts and shorts. Check out my website, bornwithisclothing.com, and you can use your, your promo code SHOP15. You'll get 15% off your order. But without further ado, let's get into this clip, and then we're going to get into my opinion after it. Let's get into it neighborhood sure. um and i have come to the cbs very often mm -hmm. may I ask why you called the police on those two men um cbs policy dictates that if there's shoplifters mm -hmm. the exit store with merchandise unpaid for it, yeah we should get the police involved and if the police apprehend them mm -hmm. we issue a bond note. okay so i actually did not elect the first charge but i said hey look i just want them to know they can't come in here anymore because they shoplifted and i just need them to sign that and i need my merchandise back. and the officers obliged and the guy said the same thing thank you and they left. it's not your merchandise it's the store so you know what happened follow my company policy not your policy where i can appreciate concerns so you're willing to risk someone's life for what thirty thousand dollars a year that's there was no risk in my opinion the, thank you you have a great night thank what is your name my name is store manager no what is his name no one's gonna tell you my name when you're sitting here videotaping us so that you can try and elicit some sort of violence against you it's not gonna happen elicit violence oh. against you you just elicited violence against two black men no, by calling they, the police they, on they, them what is wrong with people got to walk away when one of them had a warrant and could have been arrested and the cops still let him go just l listen to yourself you work with black folks you just remember that what a karen what a G oh my god i don't, don't want to swear man listen we're gonna talk but we're gonna get into it so first and foremost if you break the law whether who gives a damn what your skin is if you break the law you break the law now that the cop was even nice enough to let the one of the shoplifters go that had a damn warrant he could have just easily arrested him and he didn't press charges on him all he was saying is don't come back to the store you're shoplifting I'm the store manager. It's my responsibility to protect the store to some certain extent to make sure that everything's going to be ran correctly. I did the right thing. I called the police on people who are doing illegal things. It's like liberal people don't want you to call the police on people who are doing illegal things. Just let them, let them do it. Just let them do it. You know what? Just have it. Just take it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, we got to get this this whole thing out of, this, out of the way, bro. Stop thinking that that calling the police on someone that's black that's breaking the law is an act of violence. Listen, if you break the law and you know you've broken the law and you comply, everything will be just fine. Now, if you break the law and and you're acting violent, things can happen. And that's just reality. And that's not just because you're black. That's because you're doing an act. You're creating an act of violence by, you know, being hesitant to actually comply, which could which could be an act of violence in some states, not all the time. When I said act of violence, I mean, it may, not all the time, but it doesn't mean that you're going to die. And it doesn't mean that someone's doing the wrong thing. Like, th that, that mentality to say that is so ignorant. It's so stupid because they're never going to tell you why. It, it's basically just being a stereotype. It's basically saying that every single cop is trying to is trying to uh, be bad or trying to have a have bad intent. Like, like you stop stereotyping people and then be upset when they do it to you like the whole situation actually went smooth like from what the, the manager said he's like call the police they signed the paper they're not coming back to the store they will no longer be allowed here he had a warrant he got let go the cop was nice enough to let the guy go the cop was nice enough not to the, the store manager was nice enough not to press charges and here comes karen talking about oh it's a you work with black people and you're gonna call the police on black people 
I'm gonna call. Listen, I'm I'm black. I'm gonna call the police on a black person that's doing the wrong thing too and messing up my community, doing something the wrong that's going on. I'm gonna call the police on them too. You know, like it, it is what it is. Like you know, I, I'm gonna call the police if I need to call the police. My car got broken into uh, last year. I called the police because someone tried to steal my car. They tried to steal. I had a Ascat Pack charger, man. They wanted to steal my car. I called the police. Why? Because somebody tried to do something illegal to my car. Maybe they would define who did it and they can pay for it because now I got to fix my car. I got to go to the shop. I go get a new program, a new key. I got to fix my window. I got to retint my window. I got to do all this stuff because somebody else broke my stuff illegally, taking what I work hard for. Like, there's nothing wrong with calling the cops on somebody who is of color, somebody who is any color, because you know why? What you do, that's wrong. You deserve the consequences for it. No one is 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 going to be held differently. Everyone's going to be held accountable. That's it. And these people down, these liberal people, be thinking that somehow you're a charity case and you 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 get treated differently so much. Like I've had, I've always had, I would say, civil conversations when I've been pulled over, when I've had conversations with police officers. You know why? It's just because I treat them with respect. I treat them with with I'm treat them like a human. I'm not wise because I wouldn't want someone to be wise to me. You know, I don't sit there and give them an attitude. They're doing their job. If I'm speeding, I broke the law. So I'm going to say, how you doing today, officer? Uh, good, good, good. Yes, is there a problem today? Yes, sir. I, I, can I use license registration? Yes, you can. Go grab it right now. Here you go. Come back. Hey, we got you speeding. Really? You know, I didn't really think I was speeding. You know, sometimes he didn't get you off the ticket. I'm sorry for speeding, but I didn't realize I was going over the speed limit, officer. I'm having a conversation with the guy. He's doing his job. So as long as I have a conversation respectable, he's doing his job. Ain't nothing's going to happen. Now, here's what here's what makes things escalate. When you know you did something illegal, you're trying to run away. You're trying to grab something. And then it's a state of of, of like fright. There's, 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 you don't know what's going on. As a person of the law that's trying to de-escalate the situation, you're raising concern. What's going to happen next? Now, that's usually when situations get risky. But if you respect what's going on, if you have a conversation, if you're just civil with it, it's going to be plenty plenty of opportunity for things to like even what just happened in this video which is the perfect example they complied and he didn't even get charges pressed on him he's not gonna get no criminal record he didn't go to jail even though he had a warrant because he was civil he signed the paperwork he probably complied and everything was great but yet this karen comes in and says hey you ruined this guy's day because of this you're calling a black person a police on a black person is violent it's just nonsense but that's all i gotta say some of these liberal people would just have uh you know the brain of a rat uh and uh, that's all I got to say, man. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that like, of course. And then, of course, you got to hit the bell because you got to get notified when I drop a new video because YouTube's going to tell you when I drop a video. And it might not tell you if you just subscribe. So check out bornwithisclothing.com, promo code SHOP15, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace.